Oh, good afternoon, all. This is Tom here, and uh, getting along with the third level. And I just painted uh, all of the bench work and uh, all the way around, and also I painted it underneath all the way around. And I put some uh, bus lines up. And they go all the way over there and then down over to my uh, control panel. And I put some uh, BD-20s up there for the inside uh, track up there. I got to get more. These were just what I had left over from before. And um, I uh, tested the track. Let me go up there. That's why I see those uh, wires dangling there. Um, had that engine, it ran all the way around with no problems. Um, well, there was one little problem. When, uh, I didn't have the rail joiners uh, connected on one of the pieces of the tracks. So I put the pins down to hold it in place. And it goes all the way around. And um, what I did, instead of running wires all over the place, I put the insulator joiners right there. And I'm going to do two drops, one on each side. And I tested it out and I have power all the way around. So um, that'll make it easier to wire everything. And um, I just, uh, I got to draw lines on where the track is and then I can put the road bed down. And um, over here, another big project I'm doing. Let me just get turned around on the ladder here. Is... Um, I just put in a turntable and that was a project and a half cutting that all out. Um, the uh, jigsaw I had um, vibrated the heck out of everything and I had a dr uh, hand drill up here and it fell off and it landed down there and crushed one of my buildings so I got to rebuild another one. But that was, you know, that's what you learn. I had it standing up, I should have had it laying down, and then it wouldn't have fell. But um, that's the uh, double slip there. And I just ordered some uh, PL10s and PL15s to make that work. The uh, directions, that's what they show, so I'm not going to mess around with tortoises on that one. And I got to get a couple of tortoises for this double crossover here. And uh, then I'll have that. And then I got um, that level in there. I'm trying to level off the uh, turntable. I got to raise it up a little bit in the spot here, I think. So, and then underneath here is the wire for it. That white wire goes to the control panel. I don't know where I'm going to mount that yet. And then the black and red wire go to the bus line for DCC power. And then that white and green wire goes to a power supply that I just ordered. Um, a 12 volt um, power supply and um, plug that in and then that will give uh, power to the turntable and uh, that's that and I put a bus line over there and that's going to be for that yard that's all going to be its own uh, bus line and then the two main uh, tracks um, those bus lines are over here like I showed you, it's hard to see them because everything is, you know, dark colored now. So it makes it, they blend in, but they're right there by the BD-20s. And uh, that all works. I got power because I ran the engine up there 
And like I said, that's why these were dangling here. Because I was just, uh, I didn't want to drill holes in until I get the uh, road bed down. But that's that, and making headway. Um, I should have probably in another week, I'll have all the, um, oh, I see, I missed some tape, painter's tape. <laughs> I left it when I was painting, I put painter's tape around the white so I wouldn't get. The gray on it. I didn't care about the walls too much, but the the white I wanted to keep white. I got to pull that piece of tape off, and then um, yeah, this week I should have I should at least be able to start the road bed. Um, but um, I'm not sure about the uh, slip area yet. The double slip. I don't know what I'm going to do there yet. Um, because I'm not sure I never used those um, Pico uh, controllers for turnout. So I'm going to uh, take my time with that one and get them all straightened out. But that's about it for today. Just wanted to show you um, the, the bench work uh, all painted up and uh, the new turntable I got. And unfortunately up there I don't have enough room to put a roundhouse. So I'm just going to have a, a couple of tracks with some engines in it. And uh, the main purpose of that is to turn around the train, the engine up there to go into the opposite direction so it can go back down the helix. So, um, but then I can put all my extra engines up there too on tracks and pull them out when I need to use them. So I'm still debating on where I want to put the controller uh, that cable, I'm not sure if it's a regular telco cable or a special cable. It's not going to be long enough to go all the way down to come down in front here with where my other panel is. So maybe I'll put it up top there and then just um, push the button and uh, watch it on the camera and see how it goes so we'll see what that does but uh, it's all going to be interesting and uh, yeah it's a little bit higher than I wanted it but I didn't want to go cover the windows or the doorway I probably could have dropped it a foot but then I would have been hitting my head on the doorway all the time so this way it's out of the way and uh, the cameras will be able to show uh, what's going on up there. So we'll see what happens. All right, everybody have a great weekend and we'll probably see you guys all on Sidetrack Sunday and uh, Y'all take care Beautiful day here in New Jersey. Finally We'll see y'all soon